In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about botsing and unboxing. Now, back in the day when .NET was new, this was a pretty big topic that got talked about a lot. And there's a very good reason for why botsing and unboxing exists. Uh, but with the added feature of generics, botsing and unboxing becomes less needed, um, or you don't really use it as much as you, you would have in the past. Uh, it's still there, it's still happening, but it's kind of abstracted from you. And I wanna explain to you what it is. So hopefully you know what um, value and reference types are at this point. And that's really where botsing and unboxing comes in. So let's take a look at what that is. So let's say that I have a double and it's just 1.25 or whatever. And now I'm gonna cast this double to an object O. Now what happens here is that the double is actually being boxed because the double is a value type. Now it's getting boxed into this object type so that I can pass it around as if it's a reference type. So think about that for a second. I have a value type double that is now part of an object O, which is a reference type. So now the variable D, which, which points to the actual number in memory is different than the object that points to a reference to something in memory, right? Because it's a reference type. Now, if I wanted to get this out of the object and back into another double, so I'll just say D2 equals O, this isn't gonna work. I have to unbox it. And basically all that means is that we're gonna cast it. So I'm gonna cast it to double here and all is well. So let's just console write this out real quick so we can see it. And then we'll talk a little bit about where some gotchas are and some double casting and how this can actually affect you. So there we go, 1.25. So it worked, we boxed and unboxed it. But now let's say that we wanted this to be in an integer i, okay? This uh, right now is not going to work because we don't cast it to an integer, but this won't work either. It will look like it's working, but when I run this, we're gonna have an issue. And look, we have an issue that we can't cast the type of double to int 32 it's implicitly essentially right so now what we have to do is we have to do a double cast so we have to first cast this to double and then cast it to int so if you see a crazy syntax like this then you know that what's happening is we're having some unboxing some boxing unboxing and then casting going on so now this will actually work so let's take a look. And then let's talk a little bit about why this existed, why it mattered outside of the internals of the framework. So that worked. It did do the rounding because integers can't hold decimals. Uh, but now before generics, we had something called an array list. So let's look at that. An array list uh, was kind of like a list, like a generic list where we define the type, except that it accepts an object. So if I say ar.add, I have to pass in an object type here, not a specific type that I define. So let's say that I wanted to add a integer, just a 10. Now this is gonna work because botsing itself is implicit, so it's not a problem. The value type can be put into an object type, easy. But when I go to uh, get this out as an integer, right? Ah. When I go to get this out, I got a problem here because it says it cannot implicitly convert the type object to integer. So array list only knows about objects, which is different than the list type, the generic list. So let's look at that. So I can just really highlight this difference because it's somewhat important if you run into this issue. All right, so this is the array list, which is not generic type, it just takes objects. Well, everything in .NET in C Sharp is an object, so it works, but then I have to convert at this point that I'm going back to a value type um, and to the specific type that I'm going back to. So now this will actually work, but I gotta do this casting here that I really don't wanna have to do. So what happened was that generics were introduced and now we can do something like this. So let's 
and we don't have to worry about this anymore. So I can say, you know, add that there. And then int j equals. So now I don't have that same problem that I had before because generics handle this for me. This is actually a list of um, integers rather than just a list of objects, which is what an array list is here. The goal of the array list was to do something similar as the list, but it couldn't do it as high fidelity as the list with generics could do, uh, which required us to do some boxing and unboxing. But now with generics, you won't run into this as much, but you may run into a scenario where you are doing boxing, unboxing, casting, and I just want to let you know why that's happening here. And the key is that you have value types and reference types and the way that they're stored in memory are different. And if you want to use a value type as a reference type, you've got to box it up. And that's basically what's happening in this, in this case. So uh, probably not something you're going to have to worry about, but this is something that if you do a lot of research on csharp.net, you'll see boxing and unboxing talks and YouTube videos and all over the place. And really, it's no more than just this. It's pretty straightforward. So go out there and do some boxing.